everyone and welcome back. It's Mindy for Lawn Fawn today and I'm going to be creating this really fun interactive card using some of the new products from the Fall Winter 2018 release. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with the Thanks A Latte stamp set. This has so many cute designs to create either fall or winter little cups of coffee or cocoa. And what I did is stamp that with a Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. And I'm stamping with some of the Lawn Fawn ink. So I started with dough ink and I'm going around the edges of this. I'm going to call it coffee because that's what I like to drink. And I went around the edges with the soot to try and get just a darker appearance. It didn't um, appear as dark as I wanted, but I still really like how that looks in the cup. Now I'm going to be coloring this in with my Copic markers and I know I'm going to be cutting out the center of this cup, but I'm still going to color it completely. I'm starting with B99 and I went around just the edges of my cup and a little bit of the inside of the handle. Then I'm coming in with B97 and blending that out around the handle and the back of the cup. And then finally the B95 and I'll blend that out all the way through. The middle part, I'm not so worried about how well it blends because I'm going to die cut that out. So here I'm using the coordinating die with post-it tape and die cutting that through my Big Shot. Now I'm going to create the actual wheel part. So I'm using some of this new nitpicky pattern paper and I'm using the square reveal wheel. I'm taking the oval shape and just holding that in place in that notch with some low tech tape. And then I'll run that through my die cut machine. And I also did that with a white piece of cardstock. So you can see these are going to line up perfectly together. I did that just for some stability to my card. And then I also have one die cut out of white cardstock without that notch in there. Now I'm going to take my coffee cup and I'm lining up that oval puzzle piece into the center of my coffee cup. Hold that down with some tape. And run that through and you can see this cuts that out perfectly and it's going to line up with the hole I created on my pattern paper. So that's going to be where my sentiment or my smiley faces are going to go. Using the original reveal wheel dies I cut out a base from white cardstock and also that second part that's going to be in the back. Then I'm just taking the brad and running that through and opening that up on the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my pattern paper and I'm going to attach it right away to the white cardstock because then that way it's not going to move around. I'll have that ready when I attach my base to it. So you can see I'm just going to go ahead and get that attached because I'm not going to do anything else to it. So this piece is good to go. Making sure I have it on the right side. Then to attach my uh, reveal wheel, I'm actually going to use my Big Mama foam tape and that's because I have a lot of it. So I just cut it down into really thin strips or squares, whatever I need it to be. And everything will be the same height as far as the foam depth of it. So here I just went through, cut a couple small strips, put that on that small base of the reveal wheel where the brad is. And I can go ahead and line up my score lines with the side and also my reveal wheel hole that I created that I die cut. Once it's lined up, I can attach that to my base. And then bringing that pattern paper back up again, I went ahead and made some ticks on all the quarter marks of my reveal wheel. And I'm lining up that tick on the side and then I'm just penciling in that circle so I know where I'm going to stamp my image or my sentiment, whichever it would be. And these will be really easy to erase. I know it's hard to see the ticks on camera, but in person it is pretty easy to see them and I can just move along and pencil those in. And then I'll take my reveal wheel off and just bringing in a small block and some of the black licorice ink. I'm going to take that Thanks A Latte stamp set and I'm using all of these cute little smiley faces. And I'll just go around to each of those areas that I had penciled in and put in these really sweet faces. So each time you spin the wheel, it's going to have a different face on there. I just thought that was a really cute idea to have my coffee cup with all these really neat little faces smiling through. 
Now the last one here, stamp that in. And then I'll just go through and erase all of those pencil lines that I drew in and also the ticks on the side. And there's no marks left. I drew it light enough so nothing is left over. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the reveal wheel, put it back on my brad. And then I'll go ahead and bring in my pattern paper and just lining it up, making sure everything is showing up where I want it to, that my smiley faces all line up in the window that I created. Bringing in my coffee cup. I'm not attaching that yet because I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to add anything. So that's going to be off on the side for now. Then I'll bring in this foam tape. And like I said, it's the same thing I used before. That way everything stays even. And I cut it down into these thin strips. So I went around that base where the wheel is, making sure I'm leaving space for the wheel to move. Have all that foam tape attached. And then attach my pattern paper on top of that. So you could just leave your card as this. What I'm going to do is actually bring in and make uh, an A2 size card, card base for this. And I'll be using the new wood grain card stock. This is beautiful. It's already textured with that wood grain look on there, and it is wonderful. I thought this color out of the paper pack was great to match kind of my fall theme I had going on for my card. I also went ahead and die cut this uh, other color of pattern paper from the Knit Picky Paper Pack. And I used the same dies out of the square reveal wheel that I did and just kind of cut that in half a little bit or a little less than half to just differentiate a little bit of color in there. And I also cut a piece of white cardstock just to have a little bit of a border. And I attached those all together. I was fairly confident that I wasn't going to want to add anything else to that. And also bringing in my little arrow and using some lawn fawn glue to attach that. And I used some of my scraps from uh, that yellow pattern paper that I'd used. So that matches the rest of my card. I also die cut a banner you see there. And that's from the slider, uh, double slider surprise. I love that banner. I've used it quite a few times already. So I die cut that out of some paper bag cardstock so I can have a sentiment for my card once it's all done. So you can see I'm just spinning it there, making sure everything is lined up. And then using the new clear embossing ink from Lawn Fawn. This is really great. I've also used this a few times playing with some cards. This is such a great embossing ink. So I stamped warm wishes onto my banner. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat set that with white embossing powder. And this I was fairly confident I wasn't going to change. You know, sometimes you're working on a card and you're just not sure if it's all coming together the way you want. So I tend to not attach anything until I'm 100% sure. And here is where I kind of adjusted what I wanted to do with the card. I just thought that coffee cup looked a little lonely. There was some empty space in there. It was a little off center where I had placed the wheel. So I went ahead and stamped this caramel apple, and this is so cute, and it's so yummy. So I just stamped this on some scrap paper and coloring in with my Copic markers. I used E35, 33, 31, and 30 to color in my caramel apple part. And then for the apple... I'm going to use YG17 and YG13. I just did a real quick coloring of it. I did the stick the same colors that I did my caramel apple just to simplify things. And just a real quick coloring with the caramel apple. And adding a little bit of shading to the top where the stick would be poking into the apple. And blending that out really quick. Then I can use the coordinating die and die cut that out. And that'll just leave that really nice white edge. I do like having a white edge to my images and die cutting those. So the coordinating dies are really handy to have. And I think that just really completed the front of my card for me. I felt a lot better at this. My coffee cup didn't look so lonely. You know, maybe not everybody has a caramel apple with their coffee, but I think it just really completes the scene for me and just has a really great fall feel to it. And I added my little smiley face or winky face to the caramel apple. 
And before I attach these, I'm just throwing down some color, a little bit of shading to where they're sitting, kind of like they're on a tabletop. And I'm going to finish this off with a C4. I started with C3, but it was a little bit too light. I wanted that to be a little bit darker, so I'll bring in a C4. This might not be where a shadow would lay when you're looking at the coffee cup or the caramel apple, but it helped me ground my images. They weren't just kind of floating on some pattern paper, which can still look cute. I just, I like to have a little bit of shading under my images to ground them. That's just my personal take, and I was really happy with how it turned out. So now that I'm really confident about this card, I'm just going to use the Lawn Fawn glue and my tweezers, and I'll go ahead and get these attached. So this square reveal wheel turned out so great. I love that you can either make your cards square or add them to an A2 size card base. These are just genius and so much fun to play with. And then I'm just going to finish off my caramel apple with a white gel pen, just giving it a little bit of shine off on the side. And once I do that, I'm going to go through and spin my reveal wheel. And it's going to show me all these really cute little faces that are showing up in my coffee cup. How adorable are those? I love these. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.